Hi there, thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Jackie, and in my last two videos, I showed you how I made these two sea glass flowers. And what I did with both of them was I took this Krylon spray paint. It's sea glass, meaning it's intended to give the appearance of sea glass, and it's sea foam colored. So I, what I did was I sprayed the glass, and then I did my sea glass project on top of it. Now in today's video, I'm going to do a similar thing, making this really tiny lighthouse. And it's kind of a wonky lighthouse because I just had a idea that I wanted to make a wonky lighthouse. And again, I sprayed it with the sea glass colored spray paint. And then I did my this is my mosaic on top of it. So join me for this video. I hope you find it interesting and it inspires you to kind of step out of the box and try something a little bit different. So the materials that I need for this project, I have this five by seven frame that I'm going to recycle. I'm just gonna take the back out of the frame and use the frame and the glass and I have some sea glass here. Now, typically when you see a lighthouse, the lighthouse, the sides of the lighthouse are really straight and it's a tall, stately beacon, meant to be a beacon in the storm to show you your way. So in this piece, I really wanna make a wonky lighthouse because sometimes that beacon that you're looking for to show you your way is fuzzy and you can't really see where you're going. So I'm using some uneven pieces of sea glass so my lighthouse is kind of wonky and I have some some brown sea glass for the base I have some green sea glass to make a little anakshak I've got some really tiny pebbles from the beach and I have one blue piece of sea glass and I'm going to use some paint here to embellish my lighthouse I have some deep yellow that I'm going to use for the light in the lighthouse and I have some Payne's Gray that I'm going to use to paint on some windows in the lighthouse. And I'm going to use my Quick Seal Kitchen and Bath Adhesive Cop. And I'm going to use this sea glass sea foam spray to spray the glass in the frame before I put the lighthouse on top of it. And I have a little bit of a paintbrush there and a stick to clean off my uh, messy bits as well as a little tissue. So, let me show you what I do first. Now, there's a tiny little plug in the paint, so you, right there, so just take that little plug out and you just wanna spray a really thin coat. So I have my five by seven piece of glass I have it, I put it on plastic here that it won't stick to because if you put it on paper, the paper's gonna stick to your glass. So this is like a plastic sheet. So I'm going to just do a really thin layer of paint, not too thick. If after you do that thin layer and you hold it up to the light and you think, oh, I'd like a little bit more, you can do more. So now I'm gonna let that sit overnight at least. Well, overnight will be fine. And then I can continue with my project. So the spray paint on the glass has dried and now it's ready to go. So I'm going to flip my frame over and I'm going to put the painted side out because that's the side that looks nicer. You might prefer the side that isn't painted. It's totally up to you. And I'm gonna take my quick seal adhesive caulking and I'm going to run a bead of this all the way around inside the frame. And then I'll just take my finger and smooth it out a bit. Now this is white but it's going to dry clear. So now I have to let this set overnight again. This project is, takes a few days, not that it takes a lot of time on any one day, but it takes a few days. So I'll leave this to set again overnight and then I'll show you the next step. So I let this sit overnight and the silicone, the white silicone has all dried clear. So that tells me that it's secure enough. I can flip this over 
and now I can work on my little design on the front of the glass. And the first thing I'm going to do is arrange all my sea glass on here and then I'm going to start to glue it on. Usually I glue as I go, but for a project like this, it's really small and I don't have a ton of pieces. So I want to put it on first and make sure that everything is where I want it to be and in the right position. The thing with sea glass is that you can have it just a little bit off on an angle and it doesn't look right. And if you just make the slightest little adjustments, sometimes it'll look right. Sometimes I'll take a piece of sea glass and think, that, that's not the right piece. Flip it upside down, it fits perfect. Now, I'm going to put a blue flag at the top of my wonky lighthouse. I really like how wonky this lighthouse is. I often think of a lighthouse as a really good beacon in life, but sometimes when you're looking for a beacon, your life can be a little bit crazy. The beacon can look pretty fuzzy. So that's kind of the feeling or the imagery that I'm going for in this tiny little wonky lighthouse. And I'm going to just arrange some little pebbles on here and I have a tiny little anakshak. Person standing here looking for some guidance from this wonky lighthouse. The wonky lighthouse is giving guidance but not making it very clear what the guidance is. So I think I like that. And now I can start to glue it on. And then after I glue this on, I'm going to let it sit overnight and then come back and I'm going to do a tiny bit of embellishment with my paint. I've tried that before on, on uh, lighthouses and I really was happy with the effect. So I'll show you how I did that. So I've got these glued into place. I'm going to put my flag on and I'm just going to let this set probably overnight. I should get back to it tomorrow and then I'll do a little bit of painting on it and show you my wonky lighthouse. All right, I let this set overnight and the sea glass is not fully set yet, but it's set enough that I can do a little bit of painting and not have the sea glass pieces move. So I'm going to do the tiniest bit of painting just to add some interesting detail. So I have this deep yellow. I only need the tiniest bit of the yellow. And I have this Payne's Gray. It's kind of like a it may look black, but it's not quite black. And I'm going to add a light in the lighthouse. And I'm going to add a door at the bottom of the lighthouse and some windows. But they're not going to be like perfectly square. So I have this small paintbrush that's a little flat. So I'm going to do the light in the lighthouse first. Uh, now I don't want this to be like a perfect square. I want it to be kind of opaque. So I'm going to just do like this so that it's not, it's not like a perfect square. There we go. even look a bit scratchy because again the wonky lighthouse the whole idea is that you're looking for some guidance in that beacon of a lighthouse but it's not always clear to see. Now I'm going to do the same with the doors. 
want the doors the door here at the bottom of the lighthouse to be just enough so that you know there's a door there but it's not really clear to see and then you've got a window up here that's why I wouldn't use black for this I find the really dark dark gray is better and a window on this level of the lighthouse windows help give an idea of how tall a lighthouse is because each window represents like a floor so you know this is a really tall large white house because it's got three windows on the way up and a door at the bottom so the, you can see this process only takes a few seconds but it just adds a tiny bit of interest that wouldn't be there otherwise so then my piece is finished. Now I'm going to hang it in the window and I'm, ho I'm going to see the light shining through the back of it with that sea glass color of the glass from the spray paint and I think it's going to look really lovely. Uh, so thanks so much for joining me for this video and until next time I hope you make it out to the beach and happy sea glass hunting.